Let's go, let's go. Losers finals. Jackets versus Lee, the rematch. Uh, winner semis, when Lee came away with a victory. And interestingly enough, uh, one of the games was on this stage, Final Destination, and Jackets was up. Four stocks to two, but Lee did manage to bring back the comeback. Oh, wow. The yeah, there you go. Okay. And now we got chain grabs. Both these players are uh, pretty decent at chain grab each other. Jackets definitely goes a lot for chain grab a lot more. Uh, Lee and Taylor are a bit more lazy or old school, depending on how you want to look at it about their punches sometimes. Both of them sometimes do go for the chain grab, but a lot of times they just go for the up smash and rack on that easy percent. And certainly it's a lot more stable, but the of the warp is also uh, not quite there. But, you know, right now Lee is way off. It's up two full stocks. And uh, Jacket's not quite able to find that up there that it really needs. Not that I really think it would have killed anyway. Oh, okay. So right there, Lee went for the full hot mirror in which you can fade back a little bit and kind of ambiguously drift to make it safe. However, he misspaced it and Jackets looked like he was ready for it. He just ran up underneath him and now smashed it. It was a really good job. Yeah, I'll just stop him. Lee looking really good. Oh, Jackets with the Swedish option. However, he does get hit by the fire. And he doesn't hit the tech off of it. So he isn't able to cover the option at the proper time. What up? This is loser's finals, so it's 3 out of 5. And the loser gets $45. That oh. money. First place today gets $110. Uh, I guess that's Lee. Uh, yeah, Lee is White Fox. Oh, okay, so Jackets, he was anticipating just the get up normal get-up option, but he missed space a little, and he was right outside of the range where he was. Wow. And, oh wow, this is a great time. He got hurt. He got hurt. So yeah, wake-up shine led to all of that. Really painful. Nice back air there. Uh, recognizing that it was, that he could just react to the old angles. And he just kicks him in the face and takes the stop. Ooh. But uh, uh, Lee looks very seasoned in this matchup. He's doing that shit that you kind of just, you know, like, automatically know where they're going to be. Right, yeah. You've been in this situation yeah. often like, enough. Like, pull out the airs, they need to shine, you know. Right, if you've been in this situation often enough, then you know where people are going to end up. Jacket's also yeah. this killing a little. Ooh, once again, yeah. really solid back air there. And the turnaround. Lee is looking really sharp here after his winner's... It's that lost together. Okay. Uh, 
mid-set hand warmer. Do not be confused. Looks like we're we're gonna see a switch to Falco here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm curious how Jagged Falco is going to perform against uh, these Fox here. Like, I guess if he's not feeling like What's definitely, feeling? definitely like his Fox got like a little bit smashed on the last two games. It did. It did. So you know maybe you mix it up. A lot of times this doesn't quite work out, but like. Every now and then it can be just what you need. That character switch. Right. Give you some momentum. He just comes out with the with the reflector. Using as God intended. Buffer punching the buffer get up attack. Very nice that Jagged's perhaps trying to go a little too fast, or he's panicking, so he gets hit to the ground, he's like mashing, and then he buffers the get up attack, so he's ready for it. Ooh, nice uh reflector there. Yeah, yeah, he's losing the reflector a lot. It's really interesting. Uh, I don't, I don't like seeing uh, spaces get stuck in their time. It's never a good time. Oh, there we go yeah, again. and it happens again. Wow, that's that's rough, man. And, yeah, these <laughs> these reflectors are so <laughs> weird. It looked like he thought once he hit that mirror that he's going to get something off of it. But then it kind of petered out. It threw out the fourth man. Just kind of assuming that he would get something off of it, but it was Ooh. definitely not the case. Okay, so Jack is adapting a little bit. He shoots the laser, and then he jumps over it as it gets reflected. Oh, close one. Oh. Okay. Oh, weak back air. I would like the dare. Uh, right. Let's see if we can Yep. There it is. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Alright, so Jack is, uh, I don't know about that, he immediately went to the ledge, perhaps he was thinking he could just ledge dash back on, use the invincibility frames to shine, but I dislike how he placed himself into the corner. Even if you ledge dash, you only have so much of a lane. Yep. Uh, oh, and a grab? Ooh, the moonwalk. The moonwalk to wait, very nice. He's just waiting for it, and, uh... Only, uh, he's in the building and he's filling himself. Yeah, and honestly, it looks a little bit like Phil on Jacket's part. Uh, I would like to see, you know, I would like to see that. I would like to see more lasers, but, uh, I don't know with Lee's reflector skill. Yeah, he's doing a really good job of just reflecting them back. It's kind of shut down. Uh, it's funny because, like, normally you see the power shields, but he's just like, no, nah, I got a reflector. Alright, nice job there. He hits him with a weak nair and knows that's oh, funny. That's, that's gonna be crucial. We take those. All day. And once again, Jacket's doing that, uh, the PC drop onto the line. It's real cute, but I, I, as of yet, I think mostly it's only gotten him into trouble. Oh, he gets stuck in the shine peacefully with his stock. Oh, uh, so very tight bad here. where the top players really shine, you know, that clutch factor. Yeah, this is the last stock. It could be anybody's game. And definitely this game was a lot more even than the Fox Mirror, so. Yeah, decent switch. Yeah. Oh, he tried to throw out the second the, the second bear, but he just wasn't oh, quite fast enough. Oh, he gets caught in the beak, and that's going to do it. So Lee GG. does it 3-0, but the last game was much closer. Yeah.